Needless to say, the Colts got the job done today yeah, at the Dome. Yeah, and then some. And then some. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Talk about a team hitting both ends of the spectrums. It was double zeros last week, yeah. and today they hit the jackpot. With four weeks to go in the NFL regular season, the AFC East is still up for grabs. The Colts stay in control of their destiny by winning. Also clinging to a share of the lead at 6-5 and five are Buffalo and the Jets. Ed Harding has the Colts story, which includes yet another chapter of quarterback Gary Hogaboom's hard luck story. Eric Dickerson started a 51-point cold afternoon with his nifty 19-yard run for touchdown. 7-0 Colts. Play of the game, unquestionably this one. First series, second quarter, Colts ball, third and six in their 20 game. Gary Hogaboom finds Albert Bentley on the left side. He does the rest. 72 yards, a 14-3 lead. It was perfect. Uh, I didn't even have to break stride or anything. Just catch it and, and run with it. And no one could have threw a better ball. The Oilers turned the ball over five times. None more comical than this. Johnny Cooks intercepts. He heads for the end zone. He fumbles the ball, and the Oilers recover. Yeah. Are you going to be taking offensive practice this week? I doubt <laughs> I seriously doubt it, but I think I should be a tight end. Why should you be a tight end? So my hands, yeah, you take a great hand. athlete to do what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> the day's costliest pass, this one, late second, near the half. Hogaboom looking left for Bill Brooks is hit solidly. The ball squirts free. It's caught by Albert Bentley and results in a touchdown. The Colts get seven, but they lose Hogaboom. He dislocates his shoulder. I guess, you know, it's part of the game, and uh, yeah, I've been struck too many times. But, uh, you know, I'm... When, when I play, I, I lay it on the line, and I, I, I believe I put it on the field, and that's the way I'm always going to do it. And, uh, you know, you get hurt, you get hurt. You just have to come back, and uh, I'm looking to come back stronger. Jack Trudeau in relief in the second half, throws only four times. He does find Matt Buza in the end zone of this one. Colts' lead is now 41-20. Although the Oilers were down, Warren Moon never figured they were out. You know, we can't lose anymore now. We're still not out of the playoff race. We're uh, tied with a lot of other teams as far as records are concerned, but we know we can't lose anymore because it'll really make our jobs tough as far as getting the playoffs. Two things in closing. First, the Colts bounce back from last week's shutout at New England. They are now at a three-way tie for first in the AFC East. <laughs> yeah, Eric. <it's very> <laughs> I love you. Thanks. From now, we have to win the football games that we're not supposed to win and the games that we're supposed to win. We have to win all of them if we possibly can. We can't make mistakes. We can't make mistakes. We can't make crucial mistakes. As far as seeing that playoff card, you know, I feel we are a playoff caliber team. Uh, we're legitimate. We should be there. And it's up to us to prove it. The other point is just that. Points. Points scored. Colts got 51. Ten of those with less than two minutes to play in a game they already had under control. Every man has to live with himself. So uh, it was certainly wasn't an intent to run the score up, and if it was viewed that way by the Oiler people, then I apologize, number one, to Jerry, because I like him very much, and I had no intention of doing that. And I'm sorry that, looking back, I'm sorry that that incident had occurred at this time. Intent aside, fact of the matter is, points scored can affect the playoff position in the NFL. Those are the rules. At the Hoosier Dome, I'm Ed Harding, Wish TV Sports 8.